got inside details on the Gujarat paper leak controversy related to the junior clerk exam for government jobs. The paper which was leaked in Gujarat was brought from Andhra Pradesh. Gujarat ATS has arrested 15 accused so far. Remember, there was a paper leak in Gujarat, which is why the exam uh, for junior clerk recruitment had to be cancelled. The paper leaks have links with Odisha and Bihar. A person named Nayak has been arrested who is from Odisha, while the Gujarat ATS team has reached Odisha to arrest the main facilitator. There are also two persons named Ketan Barot and Shekhar among the accused who have been accused of leaking many other examination papers earlier. They have also been accused in a CBI investigation. Remember, the junior clerk recruitment exam was to be held today at 11 a.m. 9 lakh candidates had applied for 1,181 posts in the state. Candidates were informed not to go to the examination centre. Going across to my colleague Rupeshri Nanda. Good morning to you, Rupeshri. I see that uh, Pochot from Arvind Kejriwal has come in almost immediately. He has said, almost every exam in Gujarat gets leaked. Why? That is the question that he's raising. Absolutely. In fact, uh, paper leak uh, issue was one of the major issues that Aam Aadmi Party has raised in the run-up to elections. And Aam Aadmi Party believed uh, that uh, the traction it got uh, to uh, some extent with the youth of Gujarat was because of uh, this. And uh, in fact, if you go, go by uh, the record or go by the past experience, uh, it is uh, it is quite uh, 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 quite a shock as to how routinely uh, the exam papers get leaked in Gujarat. Uh, but in this uh, particular case, actually, as our colleague Janak has also reported, and as you just said, uh, you know, uh, the authorities have moved in swiftly and have arrested or, uh, you know, nabbed uh, some of the culprits who have been accused of uh, leaking the papers. But the uh, problem is that the, uh, in terms of politics, the damage has already been done. It's a new government in Gujarat. Uh, remember, it has come, uh, you know, uh, by winning a record uh, number of uh, seats uh, this time. And definitely it is an embarrassment uh, for the government that it could not prevent uh, the leakage of uh, uh, the paper. Uh, and also uh, remember that uh, ultimately it is the youth of Gujarat suffer, who suffer because it is they who are looking for jobs. They expect a fair deal. They expect a fair chance. Uh, they would be preparing for these exams. It, it, uh, these are government jobs, very coveted. And therefore, it, it is very likely that opposition parties in Gujarat are, are going to make an election issue out of it. But uh, it is also important to know that the government has moved in fast uh, in order to nab the culprits and uh, bring them to book. Also, to be noted, Rupeshri, that uh, 9 lakh applicants for just 1,181 vacancies also throws open the sort of unemployment in Gujarat, which, as you're pointing out, is already plagued by the kind of rape, uh, rampant uh, paper leaks. And there was, in fact, a GSLC, uh, the Gujarat State Law Commission as well, that recommended a special law against these exam leaks. Well, absolutely. In fact, this is one of the chronic issues uh, that uh, plagues uh, the state of Gujarat. Uh, the, the, the manner in which, uh, the, the routine manner in which papers get leaked, and it, it, it's also extremely revealing how there were uh, nearly 9 lakh candidates uh, for uh, just over 1,000 posts. It just shows, you know, how scarce the, uh, scarce the job market is. And how much uh, is the demand for a government job even now uh, for uh, for the youth? And therefore, uh, for all those aspirants, the 9 lakh aspirants who were hoping to take the exams, hoping to get a job, hoping for a fair chance, for all of them, it is a very, very, very big blow. And and the, uh, the issue that will be raised by opposition parties, as Arvind Gejewal has said, is why does it happen all the time? Uh, so it is. It will. It is. It remains to be seen whether the government of Gujarat now can do something uh, to ensure that these uh, things uh, do not happen again. Uh, and as I said earlier, it's definitely an embarrassment uh, for uh, the uh, government in Gujarat and has given a handle for opposition parties uh, to cast aspersions on the government. Thank you very much, Rupashi, for bringing us up to speed and putting that in context for us. But we are moving across to some breaking news 